welcome to the next module in the course and this is about introductions and requirements so we start from the overview of amazon kdp like you already know or you probably may have known amazon kdp is short for amazon kindle direct publishing that is the platform created by amazon to enable authors self-publish their own books so that they can build a name for themselves make money living off their books and the many perks that comes with the joy of being a self-published author what you need to know about this platform is that this platform is available to any and everyone from any and any part of the world except a number of other countries that have been completely blacklisted from Amazon's websites and services. That you can just quickly do a Google search on and see the list of countries that have been totally banned from using Amazon publishing services. In case you live in any of these countries, well, I hope that whatever it is gets resolved soon. But if this is not a restriction for you, ensure that you get publishing your books if you're an author or if you have books to publish on the platform. Another thing you should know about Amazon KDP is that it is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Neither is it a platform that guarantees any sort of returns or rewards. It is important to know that because you are taking this course, does not automatically transcend into any form of earnings. There are people who have started publishing books on Amazon and they've been on the platform for years and have never made a dime. I know that there has been a lot of courses available sold by people without any expertise pushing to you that Amazon can make you rich or Amazon publishing is the platform to put books and just keep making money every day overnight. While this can be true, it is not typical. The result that people get on this platform is not typical because there are many other elements and factors that come into play. And because I don't know you personally, I cannot give you any form of guarantees. So it's important to know that while you're taking this course, have an open mind that this is about building up your skill and setting up a business that is long-term and can stand the test of time. But not just you, but even the people that you work with. Having said that, what you need to get started, some of the tools I have mentioned here. Number one, you need a PC. I am very emphatic about PC because from my experience, you cannot do so much with the Amazon publishing platform if you don't have a personal computer. If you don't have a sort of laptop or desktop, or something that has a larger screen that you can navigate easily, you will find it difficult to get really good at publishing on Amazon. You may want to ask, how about if you have a smartphone? Yes, I won't have a course on smartphone Amazon publishing, but that is really just the basics. It is just for beginners and for starters. But if you really want to be a master, in Amazon publishing, you definitely, definitely need a PC. You get to understand as we proceed. Internet connection is, of course, a no-brainer. You definitely need that. You need a valid ID card if you are resident in a third world country. You also need a bank statement that is 
at most three months old you need google authenticator app you are going to see the reason why you need all these three information and this app because of the limitations that besieges the third world fence and then your bio data has to be handy the bio data being your full name as it appears or your bank statement or your means of id your address that's your residential address phone number also necessary and your date of birth you know all of this information that defines you needs to be handy while you're setting up your account then you need a valid email address i advise if you're setting up an amazon account for the first time try to create a new email address you will get to see why as we proceed if you have other email addresses you could try and get it set up especially if you are in a third world country but my advice is try to create a new email address so that you can use that to experiment as you get started then if you are resident in the first world country before your account can be fully set up you need to integrate it with your tax information that is why you will need your ni number or your tax id number depending on the way it is called in your country these are just a few of the tools that you would need i mean the basic tools that you need to set up the accounts that you require for publishing your books i hope this was helpful i'll see you in the next module where we talk about other important stuff especially as we get started in setting up the accounts. Cheers.